everyone so now let's continue i hope you already watched the two video in that one first video we describe what we need to do in second video we start implementation so now we are going to continue that implementation in the third video so this is a three with third video video number three if you miss watch the video number one and video number two so depending upon whatever the requirement is given we are doing so first floor we completed the design second floor topology is also completed first and second floor topology is completed now we are going for the third floor so in the third floor we should have the two departments so what i will do as we done before we can copy and paste right we can copy and paste the diagram it means we can copy from here and we can paste the same thing and we can delete one department as we done before so i copy this one now what i will do i will paste and we can drag that so this is the third department we can say i will move this up here that is third floor we can say this is for the third floor and now let's go here we need to modify as per our requirements so we don't have the second floor so this information we can delete and i can minimize this packet tracer so you can see everything we can move something here this way and devices later we can take this one this laptop and this one we can do this so no confusion now so if you see here this is the we can say this is the third floor design here is the first floor this one is a first floor here i wrote this is a second floor and this is a third floor we can say so i can take this like this and i can keep anywhere and we need to connect to this router so if you want i can connect to this router from here to here okay and if you see i think Uh, this router is not having the port so we need to increase the port open this one go here and switch off the router and check which ethernet card you need you need this one or uh, this one this is the fast ethernet if you see this is a two fast ethernet you can look here also drag and drop here and power on the router after that we can connect the cable so i will take the cable from here to here we connected and we can say this is a third floor and we can zoom in just i done zoom uh, out just to show you this is a first floor this is a second floor this is a third floor now what we will do we will do one by one configuration so we will zoom in so let me check here if you see in our scenario what they are mentioning here third floor is having only two vlan hr and cell and vlan 70 and vlan 80 so what we will do here let me zoom in and we will see here this is the third floor and here we have only two department so here if you see each department should have two computer and one printer they told so this one we can say one department this is another department okay and this one we can delete because in the third floor we have only two department so what i will do i will delete this one this one and this one and here if you are saying this is one department we can put some color here to differentiate so let me click here and take any color this color i am taking for this department we can give the name after some time you can take any color just i taken this one we can take any light color also here this one is for the other department so if you see this i am putting and this one access point we can keep for the vlan 1 or whatever vlan we need we are going to see that one if you see here what i have here this is a three department and here i think the color is gone or maybe we did not put the color so if we want we can put here also some color so what i will do i will go here i will select this green color and we will put for this to vlan 30 our wish we can put anything just i am putting to differentiate one vlan and the other vlan information so if you see this one this is the other department we can say i put here 
and this is the VLAN 20 information whatever we are getting and after that what we have here this is two computer here this two computer here and okay here we have already if you see when I click it came so maybe I will delete this and I will delete this no need for this two color already we have color here because before when I check it it's not showing so I am putting that one so let me remove this and let me remove this so see here what we done here we have this is a first floor three department second floor we have here three department and this is the third floor we have only two department okay we have only two department this color if it is not looking good you can remove and you can put whatever color you need okay if you are feeling this is very dark color you can select what color you need from here light color or any color you can select I can select this maybe this is light color we can put one here and we can put you can put same color also because here just I am using to represent something different so that's why I'm using but anyhow I think I did not use the same color all are having the different color so let's do this is the third floor and if you see in the third floor you have one switch and here we need to correct the naming so here if you see this is a VLAN 30, VLAN 20, VLAN 10 as per the topology here VLAN 10, 20, 30 logistic reception and store so VLAN 10 is logistic reception store this one is ok let's see the uh, second floor if you see this is the second floor what you have here second floor admin 40, VLAN 40, IT VLAN 50, finance VLAN 60 so we can go to second floor and we can check VLAN 40 VLAN 50 here is the 50 where is the 50 this 20 no need right 20 is already used here so we should use here 50 so 40 is admin here you can see VLAN 40 this one is admin and the 40 dot something and here the next one is the 50 VLAN 50 is IT so this should be IT so this is not 20 this should be 50 so VLAN 50 is IT and this is the IP schema what we are going to use here and after that if you see here what we have we have here HR and sale 70 and 80 this is the third floor so in the third floor you need to define this one if I am writing we need to edit here what we have third floor this one this two department HR is 70 so I can write VLAN 70 is HR okay this one is HR and here I can put 70 and after that what you have at last you have sales 80 you have here sales 80 sales and here also this should be 80 dot something okay or any confusion here see here simple what I done HR is VLAN 70 sales is VLAN 80 and this one we design here 70 and 80 so here you we put now it is clear and this is third floor and in third floor we have the AP also access point if you want you can give here third floor AP or anything third AP like this you can rename if you want label and uh, this is uh, 60 no need for this one already we have here 60 and all that thing so this is extra I can delete because I copy and paste so whatever extra thing came we need to delete that one and uh, everything is good now the topology is ready we can start the configuration and if you need we can put one only line saying that one this is a third floor so I can take like this this box is a third floor I can indicate okay so this is a third floor so now we need to do the configuration configuration is very simple very easy we need to start so if you see here what we need to do we need to do like uh, first we need to create the VLAN okay here if you read if you watch the first video we discuss here what they are asking they should be three router connecting to each other this one is done and they are asking one switch is floor that is also done Wi-Fi also there so Wi-Fi we have one here one here and here also one we have 
so what else we need to do here we need to do the configuration each department should have the different vlan so this is the vlan so we can do let's do the this configuration at least first floor configuration we can do this one this is a basic just we need to create the vlan okay so what i will do i will start this one three vlan we need to create so i will go where we need to do you need to look this is a first floor so where is the first floor this is a first floor if you need go here and write here first okay or first floor yeah here i can write switch sw now i will take the cli of this switch click here and open here and do the basic configuration what you need to do here first you need to change the name so change the name give the name as uh, first floor switch okay like this or anything you can give if you want to write full you can write full or simple if you want to write like this switch one by seeing the switch one we can say this is a first floor switch then put like this only after that what we will do we will do like uh, we will uh, create the enable password okay because they are asking to enable the ssh also so i am enabling the password i give the password abc and also i, I will create the user abc password i will give abc you can give anything i am giving here abc you can give anything so enable password i done and i done one more thing here if you see i done like abc user is abc and password is abc i done here what else we need to do here we need to do the vlan configuration so let's do the vlan configuration and uh, let me do the vlan configuration let's so here we have vlan 30 first vlan 10 they are saying so i will write vlan 10 press enter write name and whatever name they give put that one logistic they give so i will put logistic and then they told vlan 20 so put vlan 20 here and name whatever name they give we will put that name here vlan 20 reception we done that one and vlan 30 they create they want vlan 30 so i will write vlan 30 and name whatever they give we will give that one store so this one we created the vlan now we have the vlan after that what we will do we will uh, do the some more configuration if you see here what they are asking we need to look here first floor we done this configuration now we can do the second floor this configuration third floor this configuration we should use the ospf so let's do the second floor configuration also we need vlan 40 50 60 so if you see this is the second floor i will go here this is the second floor i will go here and we will create the vlan whatever vlan we have how what you can do you can move like this and you can observe here this is a simple configuration just we are changing the name of the switch i will write con enable and then config t i will put enable password abc username abc password i am creating the local user also and what else i can do i can do here like uh, i will uh, let me what we need to do vlan so we have vlan 40 okay here you can see i already put here by seeing here you can remember or you can look here we are doing this one so we need the vlan 40 that is admin okay vlan 40 we need that is admin and this is the ip schema we need to use and vlan 50 that is a it vlan 60 that is a finance or here also you can see i already wrote here so you can follow this one vlan 40 we need to give the name name should be admin so i put here then we need to create the vlan 50 and name should be it and then you need to create the vlan 50 and name should be what is that name vlan 50 we created okay we vlan 50 we already create right so we will create vlan 60 and we need to give the name what is the name finance i done that one here i am saying this for me so in this switch we done that one and what else i need to do the same thing in the other floor also that is the third floor so i will go to the third floor in this one you can see we have this one or you can look the notes here you have this two vlan so we need to create the vlan 70 vlan 80 so i will go here in this switch 
I will take the CLI and then I will I will first change the name of the switch whatever the name enable config t host name I will write SW3 and we will write here VLAN or first of all let me do enable password enable password ABC user name ABC password ABC this one I am doing now later we need to do anyhow so I am doing now only and then VLAN what we have here VLAN 70 VLAN 70 name is HR and you have VLAN 80 that is name is what name they give let me check here sales if you see here sales so I will write here sales and I will save the configuration after that we need to put this port also if you see this three port this one F0 by 2 F0 by 3 F0 by whatever this one F0 a 1 3 and this one we need to put in that VLAN VLAN 70 so we are going to do that one anyhow the video length is going to become very what we can say very long this video is becoming very long so what I will do I will save the configuration then we are going to continue in our next video okay so I save the configuration in the switch 1 in the switch 2 I will save here also in the switch 3 also I am going to save the configuration now let me stop this one you can watch in the fourth video remaining configuration